What I'd like to show you here is a graphical representation of this idea of a target population and an estimand. So the smiley faces I have here represent all possible units of analysis. What is a unit of analysis? In most studies that you'll probably see, the unit of analysis is a person. So we're interested in the heights of all women, or we're interested in the votes of all voters in Massachusetts. But the units do not have to be people. Maybe they're households, and I'm interested in surveying households about their uh, internet usage. Maybe the units are rats, and I'm interested in all possible rats and what I can say about them. Maybe the units are inanimate. Maybe the units are pieces of metal, and I'm interested in what happens to them when I apply certain engineering conditions. There's a lot of ways to think about units. But the idea is if you think of a data set that has variables across the columns and data points down the rows, and we'll talk about those things more specifically as we go, the units are what's along the rows. The person, the household, the rat, the piece of metal. So let's suppose that these smiley faces represent all possible units, okay, all people ever in the world. The target population is the set of units that you'd need to explicitly calculate whatever it is that you want. So if you're interested in all women in the US who are older than 21, all possible units are all possible people, but the target population consists of women over the age of 21 in the US right now. In the election example, the target population is not just all people, but all people in Massachusetts who are going to vote in the next election. The estimand, again, is the quantity that we would like to estimate. So it's something that we could calculate if we actually had information on every unit in the target population. Again, if we actually had all the information in the target population, we wouldn't have to estimate anything. We wouldn't need to do any sort of statistical test. We could just calculate the average of all their heights, the rate of their votes for the Republican etc. That's the estimand, and that's a term that we'll return to uh, throughout this course. So if our goal is to learn about every unit in the target population, one question you might have is why we don't just do that. Why don't we just get all the information that we would need from every single unit in the target population? What is that called? That's called a census. So a census is a way of gathering data where you actually collect information on all of the units in the target population. The most famous census, of course, is the census. 